Well, as promised, Bishop Larry Silver is our guest today with Hawaiian family roots. He spent many years as a priest in the Diocese of Oakland. And now, since 2005, the Bishop of Honolulu, Father Larry Silver. So great to have you with us today. Thank you. Aloha and welcome to you. Thank you. Mahalo. <laughs> So you have roots here. You yeah. love the people in these islands, yeah. I know, because we've talked. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the diocese and the wonderful people here. Yes. Well, it's a very diverse diocese. We have, you know, people from all over Asia. We have, you know, mostly Filipinos. We have, um, you know, people from all over the world. Um, and uh, it's a, a, a very strategic place in the Pacific. And so we have a lot of military here, too. And so uh, it's, uh, it's a great diocese. People are very involved. There's a real family spirit among people and, uh, you know, help one another when there's their needs. Um, of course, we have uh, six islands where there are parishes. And so we have to, um, you know, go from island to island to uh, minister to those folks as bishop and uh, um, visit them. And uh, every island is a little bit different. Uh, but they all are uh, feel like they're one family. You know. Wonderful people. That's yes. been my experience. Yes. And I, I know you, you know that probably better than yes. most. And we're standing here in uh, your cathedral, the Mother Church of the Diocese yes. of Honolulu. I can see your chair, your cathedra, yes. right in my uh, line of sight. Mm -hmm. And this is a very special place. It's history, um, the fact that it's a basilica. Could, could you help us to understand better why this is such an important location? It's important because uh, uh, it was kind of a celebration of religious freedom when uh, right after uh, uh, Catholicism was outlawed in Hawaii for 10 years and the king gave the land to the Catholic Church and they built this cathedral, the, the people built this cathedral. Father Damien uh, of Molokai was ordained here at this cathedral, had his first mass here. Uh, when St. Mary Ann Cope came to Hawaii with her sisters. This is the first place that they uh, came for Mass of Thanksgiving. Uh, we have their relics here, uh, the body of St. Mary Ann. And so it's a very historic place. It's the center of, uh, you know, our faith and culture. We have our Red Mass every year for the opening of the legislature. Uh, we have, uh, you know, many, many events here. Tomorrow we'll be having a priest funeral, uh, someone who has been a priest here for about 70 years. And uh, so it's, it really is the center of the diocese. And you were instrumental in the canonization process for these two marvelous saints. It's been an honor for me to, uh, to venerate their relics. And it's quite unusual for two saints in a diocese, is it not? Yes, it is. And I, I was privileged to be the bishop when both of them were canonized. Now, I can't really say that I had much to do with their canonizations, except the celebrations of their canonizations. Uh, the work had already been done before I got here, and so I just kind of got to celebrate. You know? And the Catholic community here on the islands is relatively young, relatively new. The congregation of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary were the missionaries who came, right? They were the missionaries who came in 1827, and they are still here, uh, still growing. Um, they uh, will be ordaining a, pre well, a priest for them who is uh, one of our men. He grew up here in Hawaii. Uh, so, um, you know, they're still growing and still working here. Walking around the cathedral, too, I see that there is a renovation process. Yes. Uh, how's that coming along? It's coming along slowly but surely. Uh, we've been working on it for a number of years. Uh, the cathedral uh, was built in 1843, and it's been renovated a number of times over that period of time. Uh, but it lately has been neglected, uh, and so we're really trying to restore it and trying to give it the feel of what it would have been when St. Damien and St. Marianne were here worshiping. And before we let you go, I just want to know just from you personally, having spent your early years here in Hawaii, what's it like to be the bishop of these islands and these wonderful people? Well, I, I'm very privileged because my family has long 
roots here in Hawaii, 150 years. And I was born here, but raised in California. My parents moved there when I was a year old. Uh, but we always had Hawaii in our culture, you know, the foods and the, I could pronounce the place names, which some people find challenging. Um, but uh, it was always a second home to me when I was in California. And then it got to be my first home. So I, I'm very blessed to be here. And we're blessed to have come to know you and uh, to experience your hospitality oh, and that of the you. Hawaiian people and also to learn where to go for malasadas. It's Leonard's, Amen. right? Amen. Leonard's. So yes. whenever anybody comes to Hawaii, you got to go to Leonard's at <laughs> least once for the malasadas. Yeah. Bishop Silva, thank you thank so much you. for your time. Thank and you. God bless you and your ministry bless, here. Blessings to you too. Thank you. Thank you.